All right, all right, all right. Keeping this, put that in there. I'm tossing this because the vacuum sealer seems to work. Throw this stuff away. The problem with throwing things away now, like it was a pain in the ass. Honestly, this is almost easier than what it was at the apartment. Let me describe the apartment. Because when I would open a box and I'd be like, okay, cool, don't need this box. I would take it, I would throw it on the floor, ha ha ha. Then I would move it from the floor out to my hallway in my apartment, because that was like a common area that I, you know, I was running both apartments, it didn't matter. So I'd move it here. And then at some point, that box had to go, oh, I gotta shut this light off. If you shut the lights off here, the bugs don't kill you at night. Although, I'm not leaving and I live here now. Fuck it, all the lights on, all, all the lights on. Is that an LED? I don't know if that's an LED. Those are LED. Um, anyway, I leave the boxes in the hallway for like three weeks. And then if my Caprice was outside, I would just so happen to then take the boxes, bring them down 20 steps, load them into my car, drive them a quarter mile down the road, and take them out, walk them to the dumpster of various cardboard or plastic or whatever, and throw them away. And then have to drive, and then park my car. So now, with the house, it feels like worse, but it's not, because that exact same scenario happens where I put it in the hallway, and my car is always here now, but I do have to bring my garbage down to the end of the driveway, which is like 700 feet. So it's less than a quarter mile. That's even better. Although there's no dumpster, like I have to put it somewhere neatly and I can't just blow onto the road. I'll work it out. Anyway, welcome to Z Unboxing. Where Zio probably doesn't give a shit about unboxing. He just wants to talk about the stuff he's got. Um, let's open the boring part first. And I may have to shut this off. That's an Australian Canadian mac and cheese pie thing, it's weird. Uh, oh, my dishwasher. Can I talk about my dishwasher while I'm opening this up? How the fuck does this open? I have, a, I'll tell you the same, actually, you know what? I could do this in silence, because I told pasta. I told her, I, I told her the tale, and I'll just replay it for you. Because it's not, I'm never gonna get the same passion back, because I'm pretty excited about that dishwasher. Mandy, I want you to put yourself for my fucking life, all right? Imagine you're, yeah. years old. You've never left your home. You live with your parents, your brother, your sister. Your brother's about to go into his own place. And just because you've never had it, you've wished to have one your entire life, you get a dishwasher for your mom. Everyone pulls together that $1,200 box, top of the line. Yeah, baby. Top of the lines you can get for Yonkers, New York. Yonkers. And you have the best dishwasher. And then, six or seven months later, you leave to go to Philly to a apartment that couldn't even possibly have a dishwasher. And you had a taste of that beautiful fucking cleanliness, spotlessness. And then it was taken away from you and you had to just do dishes in your little shitty sink with the fucking shitty things. And, then, and it's all right, it's like clean it, clean it just fine. I clean it just fine, man, you clean it fine. And then, you then buy a house five years later that has not one, but two dishwashers. One's broken, but the other one, I might buy another Asco. I don't care how much it costs. These are so clean. Oh, I just crushed my fingertips. I just- You don't wanna hear about me crushing my fingertips in the fridge. That dishwasher, which is made in Sweden, because it's, it's an Asco, I've never seen glassware so clean. And I was just using a generic like tablet. It wasn't even like a special one. And oh my God. Like I'm drinking out of it and I feel like I've never washed anything in my life. This is not how you spell aperture. A putcher. Science. Um, this is a nice bag. You know what? It may never go back in this bag. I am gonna sew. This is a double zipper bag too. Look at this. What a, wow. That feels fantastic. Um, DMS. Uh, you may know him better as DMS3TV or that guy with the uh, gauges in his ears and he needs to stop that, dot com, um, who actually does help me run uh, Hi-Fi Guides. He's, he's co-founder of Hi-Fi Guides with me. Was like, look, you got this new place. You're gonna be filming in a basement. The lighting is poor. Let me help you. Because he's a professional, he literally is defined as a professional videographer. And occasionally I'll let someone fuck with my like style or tell me, hey, you should do this on your camera to get better light. I don't like to change like the, the ground rules. Like, yeah, I'll use a GoPro. I went from a Hero 4 to a Hero 8. But he's like, you need lighting. And 
honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into lighting. Like lighting is everything. Like these, like this light, like lights, like lighting the pasta face over there is lighting. This is just, did they give me another bag? No, this has to be the actual unit, right? Oh my God. This thing is huge. Huge. This is huge. I throw it on my bed. It's got this foil material. So anyway, um, I, I spent like, was it 500 or 600? I don't know, I have to click links. On a light, a Godox VL series LED video light that's insanely bright according to DMS. And the, what did he call it? The balloon, the bubble, whatever the fuck this thing is. Which, you attach the light to this, and then this, which is a reverse umbrella, it feels like. Oh God, that hurts. I probably should be doing it wrong. I feel like I'm, can this come off when I look at it? Nice, so there's a, this all feels like a very French piece of engineering. Okay, so this, oh, you pull this, in. I see how this works, look at that. Brilliant, actually. So it's got these spring-loaded, rubberized, coated things that rotate. They rotate, yet, that's weird, because they're bent, and you can rotate them, but they don't, like, spin inward. So how does that work? That must just be a coating, a flexible coating. And there's hooks up here, and there's this here, and you must go like this. And it just hooks on, and boom. Now the problem is, my basement ceiling is eight feet, which is roughly that. It's gonna be difficile, difficile. So that folds up like that. So this has two covers. This only un velcros that far. So it's got a couple Velcro things to let you get it on things. And this is a big diffuser. I don't know if you've ever been inside one of these, but if you're gonna do a real unboxing or something, this is how videographers, this is where they fail. They don't take you inside of the things. Okay, so that goes here and then you got to do that exact same how are you supposed to do that without seeing oh. that's the same operation as sex you have no idea what you're doing and you just pray for the best I guess you could look through it this way I didn't I did nail that It's gotta be shifted around a little bit. Actually, you'd probably do this. Yeah, you know what? That's way easier. Oh, I just stripped it off. So this has to come up. You gotta get it in the center there. Then you do the pressy press. Hooky hook. These are all professional terms. DMS taught me all of them. And then that will allow it to hook here to seal this entirely. So what the fuck is that other one? So now I've got this. What is, what are you? I'm gonna have to read things. What is this? Oh, it's multiple, wait, does this come apart completely? No, it does not. So it's just, do all these do that? No, only that one does that. Why does that one do that, but the other ones don't do that? I don't understand videography. This is why I film with a fucking GoPro. But anyway, this is the actual cheaper part of the unit, was this, that thing, the lantern. Lantern. Like the Chinese lantern bugs. My dress on top, of course it is. I may have to also check my um, pot pie. I think it was making this for like three unboxings so far. Oh, there's a lot of smoke coming out of there. I need a rarely used item. This is the, the drawer of rarely used items. You know what, I'm calling that. I'm gonna say, stop, stop. It was pause and then stop. I'm gonna put this, this has some mac and cheese on it. Leave that there to put back in there. Why is the fan still, I guess the fan still runs anyway. So this LED light is supposedly crazy bright, but you could dim it and you could adjust color temperature 
and you can do all sorts of things. And I'm interested in that because if I'm gonna be filming in a new space, it's definitely not gonna look the same. Um, I'm gonna still try to get that dramatic, just boom over the top LED, because I think that adds to my videos. But if I could backwash walls and things to make it a little bit even more even toned, because the GoPro, let's put it this way, this light is gonna fix, I either get to upgrade my camera, which costs like 300 bucks, or spend $600 on a light that fixes my $300 camera. Uh, that seems much better for me. Jesus, this has got a, this has got a bag. I'm just realizing now how heavy this is. <sighs> Apparently we've got an Incredibles uniform. Mrs. Incredible lingerie, what the hell is this? Oh, the different color bags. So you, you don't change the color of the LED, you literally put a bag over the LED and that will change the color. So you got green, blue, red, white, and pink. It's orange, by the way. Godox, name Honeycomb. Code name Honeycomb? I'm gonna try not to make this one of those things I purchase and never actually use. It'll be used, oh my God. Now we've got some serious shit going on. These are gel cells, filters. Red, blue, well, that's pretty, green, RGB, R, boom, best computer case ever. We've got the actual honeycomb that diffuses the light with a hook that locks, I, again, this is like pro production gear. I've never, I don't touch shit like this. Oh my God, look at it. It's like real videos and shit. My videos immediately get like 5 million views each because DMS told me to buy this light. This is like you could direct the light, you could like really, you could box it in and be like, no, no, no I only want light there. Or I want a light here. Wow. This is why this light was like 500 fucking dollars. So this hooks on and this looks like it's a, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know yet. But there's all sorts of different cool things. I'm just gonna start throwing things. This is, this is for food savers. That's, it's there now. You're there now. Wow, faux leather on this. What does the front say? Go dox. Go dox your mom. Wow, a lot of lighting equipment has really nice bags. Holy Jesus. It's got, a stay it's got stay straps, plural, that are adjustable. What an unboxing. Imagine if I got paid well for unboxings because I don't. Like, Pasta makes whatever she does on affiliate links through this channel. And it's like, if I could, if I was like Uncle Lou doing the unbox therapy, where I could just unbox cool things and make enough money to buy 25 of the other thing I unboxed, I'd unbox so much shit. Please support this. Should I make a separate unboxing Patreon? Well, I would make a separate unboxing subscribe star. Patreon's questionable right now, as far as its longevity, but I think it'll be fine, but we'll see. But um, I don't know what this is. Imagine if I got like $3,000 a month just to buy random shit to unbox. That'd be wild. I mean, I get tons of stuff to unbox, but it's like, I'm not getting paid to unbox this stuff. It's just extra. Why was, that isn't even tape. That was the weakest of links. Look at that big black strap on. What? That looks like it's gonna be comfortable as shit. I just wanna carry things around now. Okay, we've got key products from Godox. But you hear bugs, like so many bugs. Pasta's gonna love it here. Um, here's what this looks like. I think I've got that one. I think I've got the 150. I think I've got the smallest of these because it's 150 watts of LED. Not like equivalent to a halogen bulb that's 150 watts. It is a 150 watt LED and that's the small one. So I'll, I definitely need instruction manuals. 
Um, I definitely need this strap. I gotta use this for something else. Cause I, I always get straps like that and use them for other things. We've got Velcroed panels that are not in. I'm just gonna remove all these like Velcro-y things. What? This is like my father's camera bag from the 80s. I'm not joking. I'm having Panasonic VHS camcorder flashbacks. And I love it. Like it's not a bad thing. We've got a remote control with a digital display. And I'm gonna do like I always do in this show bag. I hope this thing works. So it looks like we have power, CHGR. It looks like it says charger, but that's not what it is. And then you got plus and minus and set. So I guess which setting? Motherfucker, I... D Where are my batteries? Are you off? You're off convection, but you're still saying 400. I have to off it. I gotta off it. All right, let's leave that open, because it's actually kind of chilly with these windows open. I'm learning, I'm learning how food make go. I'm either gonna lose a lot of weight because I have so much property to take care of and steps and up and down, or I'm gonna cook like a fucking madman and it's gonna be like, holy shit, 7,000 calories. It's, those are the two options. I don't think there's anything, there's no like middle ground. Like I'm either gonna be burnt, suntan burnt, and I'm gonna become like a dark skinned Italian man, or I'm just gonna stay inside eating fat and live in the basement. We have got a four pole XLR headphone jack. Nice. It's like this is an actual, that's what balanced headphones use. It, it, it isn't originally for that, it's for something else. It just happens to use that. So that's for the controller of some sort. We've got a massive figure eight cable. Holy shit. How long is this? Can I even straighten this out? Do I need to buy another house that's bigger? This might be like a 20 foot cable. Yeah, that didn't even stretch out. That's that's huge. I guess this has to go above you and they just assume you're not gonna have an extension cord. Um, I'm keeping going the accessories. Power brick. The power brick to end all power bricks. This makes the PA3 power brick look small. In case you don't know, the topping PA3 has a massive power brick. It's like exactly this size, in fact. 16.8 volt, 10 amps. 10! That actually works. So it's supposed to be 150 watts of light and that's 16 point. Yeah, that's, that equals that. So what the fuck is the 200 and now I kind of want to know what the two and 300 watts. They must plug in direct to 110. There's no way they have a separate transformer. Requires two amps of 110. What's the actual plug? Hold on. Cause that's not normal. Holy shit. Wow, you could plug a balanced set of headphones into this. That's fucked up. Can I just specify as a headphone person and not a, like, a, like, you could just take, oh look, here's my fucking balanced set of TH909s. Eh, I don't know what, I don't know what sound would come out of it. If you patronize enough, maybe we could find out. Cause it'll probably be bad. All right, we, are we ready for the main event? We're ready for the main event. All right, we've got this which looks like a popcorn popper that used to like, this is like you put the cover on and then it'll pop up. You never had an air popper as a kid. They stopped being popular because they sucked. But this is like definitely, an, this is inspired by an air popper. Looks like it has some notch ways to clip in to things. We've got this I took out and totally forgot about, which seems important. What the fuck is, what the fuck is going on? What the, what the fuck is going on? There's two antennas. Why are the antennas different sizes? Why are there two different size antennas? What is this? What, 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 what did I just, what is that? What, is that supposed to be there like that? What, what I've never, go dogs using power, GRCH, something in channel, GR, 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 it stands for GR, obviously, vent holes, Another thing that's, that's what a headphone looks like. So that's, so that's what the power end plugs into. I'm assuming this, I may have to read manuals. So that's, this is getting powered with the fucking stupidity. And then this must mount to the light because it's got antennas 
Like it's got antennas. Like this doesn't have like, it's got antennas. And then this here, if you look, is a positive negative terminal that is spring loaded to protect five terminals. You know what? I might just get into like high end videography just because of how cool everything is. We've got a hemorrhoid pillow cushion, I guess for that. I mean, it makes sense that that's what that's, that doesn't feel like a piece of packing material, unless it's just packing material. Like, I don't know if this is actually something that needs to be used. They may have, and here is my baby, apparently. So many silica gel packets. Oh, I love that little rest. Quality control passed. This is, wait, hold on. Put this shit down, ignore that. There's a zipper inside the zipper. What does this unzip? What can we access? This is where you hide your money. Oh, drugs and money are hidden in here in the inner steel frame. Wow. I'm, a, I'm a, truly, I'm a, just a smuggler at heart. I wanna, that's from Han Solo to uh, the crew of the Serenity. Like, I just wanna hide things places. Here's an extra piece of Velcro that they fucked up and left in here. Looks like a caterpillar. Okay. I'm gonna close this. This is actually firm enough to like, uses a work surface. Here is the Godox uh, VL150. I completely missed. And it is a unit in the best way possible. See, one side, does that go entirely through? Like how does that, well that, that comes off in So wait, let me see something. Oh yeah, so there's apparently this bolt goes all the way through, so you just have one that clamps both. So you can loosen it up, give it a push, and then you have, it's still not like easy, it never swings, it's just do, 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 on between rubber, there's a rubber washer between teeth, or silicone washer, that's beautiful. Why doesn't more things use that? That the way that feels is like the most positively perfect thing ever. So here's our mount for either forward or backwards poles. I don't have any of these sort of things because I don't. I have a GoPro on my head. That's my videography. We've got a handle for adjusting it and for lifting it. Here's our input. You can go, I guess you can go straight from the power plug if you wanted to. And it's just on, which we're gonna do right now, obviously. And then you've got warning remove before use. Is there a thing, I, oh, I gotta, there's a, you gotta assume everything in professional shit has a safety, so it doesn't fall off while you're filming Star Wars. Although if it fell off while you're filming a new Star Wars, it'd be, fan, be fucking fine because no one gives a shit. This son of a bitch on. Oh, so that's the emitter. Um, and then this thing has to clip. Where does that son of a bitch clip on that does the thing? I don't see where. Like, where does this? Where do you go? What is that? So maybe this doesn't clip on? What is, uh, now I'm just confused. So, 16.4, 10 amps. This is what's supposed to take into this. How does this, this thing gets plugged in with the wire? We're learning. This gets plugged in with a wire. And then this gets plugged in. Oh, maybe that's not for specifically this gets plugged in here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a reset switch. There's a hole with like a, a metal flap that's going in. Looks like you're supposed to press it for some reason. But I guess this doesn't mount to this. I was figuring that this, oh, this is for a battery pack. This is for a massive battery pack. So if you can't run the straight, fucking 10 amp transformer, you could strap on a fuck you battery pack. And then I still don't, I guess this just hangs there for some reason. Although I don't know, I feel like that's got about six. Sorry, we were rudely interrupted by the key grip not recharging the GoPro enough. AKA I didn't recharge the GoPro. So now I have this and I've got that, which just clips in, but I also have this which is just, this makes my pee pee hard. Although this seems to be popping out. And then this I think just goes over this. 
yeah, you got a hook, hook, and then this, no, maybe I didn't hook it properly. It's got a hook there, and a hook here, and a hook there. And I guess that's, I guess that's as good as that gets. So now, now we've got a pro fucking light. Like I feel like I'm a cam, if you're a cam whore watching this, by the way, if you're a cam whore, please contact me and we could uh, arrange for um, a private uh, exchange of lights and services. Do that. So now I need that 35 foot fucking long. Oh God, I've been up since seven and I slept for three hours and then I moved into this house like finally, so. Chewbacca, you gonna come out? She's in the closet. Chewbacca's hiding in the closet. Wonderful thing about this house, and it is miraculous, is there are plugs of fucking everywhere. Ready? I'm just gonna point randomly and I'm gonna find a plug there. Oh, there's one. Right, right, right there. Or there, or there, or there. Or there, 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 or there. Hell, there's a plug in the middle of the fucking floor. I didn't even know they did that a lot. If I plug this in, is this just gonna come on and blind me? Which way is it facing? I probably should have read the instructions. But it's Amazon, so if it blows up. Okay. Notice how I didn't turn around immediately, because as much as I love my ears, I think I like my eyes more. That's a good question for the comments. It's a very long one. I'm sure you're all very interested in it. Would you rather lose your sight and only hear things or lose your hearing and only see things? Because as an audiophile, like I respect and love music and sounds and the birds and the trees, but visual, like I have perfect 2020 vision. So maybe if you were like on a downward slope and your parents have glaucoma and shit and you, you weren't going to see very good anyway, maybe then you switch to, to acoustic only. Like that's a fucked up question. And I wish it on no one. What if you lost hearing in one ear, but sight in one eye? Would that be a good, like, that's the other option. That would be annoying, but probably the option I take. I feel like you could still accomplish a lot, but mono sucks. Okay, so now this is here. I'm sure power actually needs to be held. This is showing red, that's good. We are plugged in. That is... Not bad, I thought it'd be brighter than that. That's honestly not bad. Brightness, that was 100%. We could take it all the way down, all the way down 50, every percentage on this, down to like, let's see what 1% looks like. Can we look right at 1%? I feel like we could look right at it. That is still very bright. That is, that is the brightest 1%. Chewbacca, nice and, it's actually relatively light. I don't like that system. I feel like they could do better than this system. But here, you can, you can, we can, we can quell that down. What a perfect room. Imagine doing this in my little apartment. Open. Let's put this back to um, attract every bug on earth. We're at a hundred. So now channel, see channel is for the wireless, which we're not dealing with wireless. That doesn't matter. Then we have an A. So channel five doesn't matter. Then it's A, B, C. So you got different channels and different controls. So now how do we get to the, hold it down for color? What the fuck is that? I just want to dick around. Let me dick, let me dick harder. Hit power, no, no. Hit power again maybe. How do I change the color temperature? Cause that's what I want to see. It's at 5,600K, which is very, very white, and I want it to be warmer. So how do I do that? Do I have to actually read something? If I do this a jip. There's only two buttons. This is brightness only, maybe. This just doesn't actually do it. it. There's no way they would sell you a whole unit that doesn't change the goddamn color temperature. Probably don't touch those. No, holding this down brings up 1432, which are not adjustable. They're just like, tell you. Fine, I'll read the fucking manual in the goddamn video. Uh, 
group channel button, dial for LED brightness, um, Bluetooth antenna. Oh, maybe I need to use a remote. The remote's the same thing though, isn't it? Hold on. I didn't... Fucking batteries! Do I have a remote control here? Did they leave me a remote control? They left a bunch of remote controls or shit I'm never gonna use. Like a Roku. Double A's. Giant Sony remote. Jesus fuck. Double A's. Come on, DirecTV. Give me that triple A goodness. Double A's. How the fuck? Fuck. Do I have to end this? I feel like it's gonna do the exact same thing. But I have to know. We all gotta know, right? We all gotta goddamn know. All right. Give me a second. Haha. -ha. My Maritech flashlight, which makes sense because you can't even make it out over this. This uses two AAAs. So it's, it's like flashlights feeding flashlights. And these are actually rechargeables, which I can't forget in here because then I'll be like, where are my black Enna loops? And that would suck. Actually, you know what? I'm not even putting the back on it yet. Okay, we've got 3300K, which is different than 5600K. If we hit negative, it's showing the batteries are dead. So set, off, power. There's no infrared like sender, so I'm imagining this is just gonna like, oh, the channel needs to match. Channel three, group A. Okay, so now, yeah, there we go, 10%. And it matches now. Although that still says 5600K and it says 3300K. So I don't know why that's different. Come on. Okay, so group and channel is fine. And then set. There we go. It's not doing anything. Like it's supposed to be at 5600K now. And then we hit the other set. That's not changing. This may be a fixed unit. This, this Maybe this light doesn't do various color temperatures. I'll have to beat DMS to death. To death, if that is the case. All right, let's, um, let's unlock this bitch. It's probably going to be very, very bright. And probably not recommended to run it this way, but... Oh, yeah, no. Let's put that on, which is how he intended. There is some heat coming off of this. That is, if that was a bulb, yeah, I would not recommend doing what I just did. Okay. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna lower the brightness down while I actually point this at my face for a second. Hi. This is going to be a very intense, glowing globe. It's just going to be a glow. B. Get it? Of course, it's a glowing. How can I put this down where I'm... Like, I don't want to really want to see it. Oh, my God. That's 18%. 30. 50. 75, that's murderous. Holy Jesus, God. What a, what a thing. I wish it did color temperature. I guess that's like the $700 unit. Honestly though, I could like look at it, like I'm standing in front of it and it's bright as shit. How does it make my macaroni and cheese pie look? Is that more appetizing because of the lighting I'm using? Okay, God. Now I gotta switch it to the different color filters. Sure, that's why it was slightly weaker was because I was using that. Um, so if I take this off, now that will be murder balls forward. But look at this thing, oh my. This is what I take into the zombie apocalypse. So I don't wanna be, just, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay, you come down. Don't look directly into this. I feel like, oh God, oh, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't do it. So we want to direct this a little bit. 
Because he always plays with shit on his unboxing. So yeah, we definitely have a super wide, like flood fill the entire room. And then we can direct that. Boop. And now we have a boop light. That is, that is a fucking... Chewbacca, you coming out of there? Holy jeez. Holy jizz us. Where are my color filters? Are these just supposed to slide in there? I guess it's supposed to slide in that. We're just going to give them a little bit of this. Mood lighting, bro. Bro. Got some of that blue. By the way, people can see this house and it's just fucking lighting up blue now. Are there two here? <gasps> there's two here. I fucked up. This is an RGB. Wait, is there two? Yes, there's not two. There's the yellow also. Halloween. We got some 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 fucking green. That's officially a bug light now. That's the yellow. That's the yellowest yellow. Ow, I caught some reflection. And now my favorite, which will be red, because submarines, German submarines, or Russian submarines. Chewbacca, you coming out? I caught it again. Oh, my eyes. So then what are these for? I'm not sure if you're supposed to put these on this. Like, I feel like this might be a tight squeeze. Okay, can I just rest this here? Hold on. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think this is, yeah, this is not meant to fit on here. This is not big enough for that. It's pretty big though. All right, hold on. Let me look away from this for a second. Wait, I'm wrong. It's totally meant to fit in here. You just have to be looking into, oh Jesus, it's like an arc weld. Oh, there we go. That's actually warm. That's, that's, that's not like yellow. That gives an impression of like a warm, a warmer bulb, a little bit more diffuse. I like that. Anyway, this thing is hot. We're getting hot here. Yeah, hot temperature there. So thanks DMS for spending the Patreon money on what is essentially the world's brightest fu I'm gonna literally be here but he's like, you gotta use it with the, with the dome. You gotta use it with the, what the fuck is it called? Pocket socket? This, Taj Mahal top. I mean, it's LED, it's not cooking the front. Like if, back in the day, if this was a bulb, that's, that would have melted everything. This, we can't use anything like this. The heat's all back here, it's in the actual generation. So thank you to DMS for pointing out that I should buy this. And uh, thank you to everyone who paid for it because it certainly wasn't DMS. So this is good for adjusting the brightness and turning it off. By the way, it just says off, oof, of. Hmm, did I bring a battery charger? I may have not brought the battery charger. I did bring the, did I bring the battery charger? I think I packed the battery charger. Where? I don't know. All right. This is good. I could survey my land now. Survey my property. Thank you all for staying for this very, 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 very long unboxing. Oh, God. And now I'm going to go put my shower heads on and eat my macaroni and cheese pie. And then take a nap for like eight hours. Bye-bye.